Welcome in this video, we're going to learn how to do subtraction using binary numbers. So let's make up a couple of binary numbers. I'm going to do the following 1, 0, 0, 1. And this is in binary form, so put a two subscript and then also 1, 1, and 1 like that. Also in binary form. And we're going to subtract. So to do this, first of all, make the following observation. Where it says 1 minus 1 in binary, that's 0 in binary. So you put 0 with a 2 over here, for example. Then where you have 0 and 1, that you cannot do. 0 and 1 you cannot do, right? You cannot subtract 1 from the either 0. So you get a borrow. So what I'm going to do now is borrow those files. Take a look. Let me just grab a different color to emphasize this point. I'm going to strike that off. That's going to leave a 0. And I'm going to borrow over into this column. I'm borrowing a 1 this way. There's a problem, though. Problem is that, for example, right now 1, 0, I'm treating the 1 and a 0 as basically one quantity. When I subtract 1 from it, that will work. But the next one still has 0 minus 1, so it doesn't work. For that reason, you got to borrow again. So now on the side, look carefully, just to remind you. When you have something like 1, 0, base 2, minus 1 in base 2, you got to understand what this gives. This gives a value of 1 in base 2. You have to be really careful. That is so for the following reason. Take a look. 1, 0 in base 2 is equivalent to just writing 2 in base 10. 1 in base 2 is equivalent to writing 1 in base 10. And now 2 in base 10 minus 1 in base 10, of course, is just 1 in base 10. So in binary, when you have 1, 0, base 2 minus 1 in base 2, it leaves 1 in base 2. So up here, Take a look. I'm going to have to borrow again. So I'm going to strike these two off and I'm going to put a 1 in here. What did I just do in my head? What I did is I took the 1 and the 0 and I subtracted 1 from it. That's why there's only 1 left up there. And then I moved that 1 basically over to here. The one that I borrow it goes over here. Now I can do the subtraction. Take a look. Let me switch back to a consistent color so everything looks the way it's supposed to look. So now we can do the subtraction. I have 1, 0, minus 1. Remember, 1, 0, base 2, minus 1, base 2 gives a 1, base 2. So over here I put 1, base 2. The base 2 goes there only one time at the end of the 0. You don't have to keep writing it, obviously. Then over here now, notice I struck off the 1 in blue and the 0 in red. So I have only the 1 up there minus the 1 down below. That's going to give me a 0. And I copy the other 0 down like this. And this is an example of doing subtraction and binary with carrying and sometimes you might have to carry multiple times and if you think about it very carefully it all relies on these basic facts right here and the number that you get 0010 base 2 you can just write that in a shorter form for example as just 10 base 2 and that's it so you can also give this as the answer is equivalent 